everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you my April favorites. The first item on my list is this deodorant by Love Vanilla. It's super hot in LA right now, it's like 90 degrees. So I'm really exci excited to finally find a natural deodorant that works because I know this might be too much information but I mean I don't have a problem with a lot of sweat but I have a problem with odor when it gets really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing! Um, I I have the original right now. Actually, Sephora used to carry this, but um, they no longer carry it. This, that's where I used to get it. But um, at QVC, they have a great deal. You can get three for like $30 or something. Um, I'll put the price on the bottom because I could totally be wrong. But I remember it was pretty cheap compared to the Sephora prices. Um, I have the original scent, but I also tried the grapefruit and I actually really like that one and haven't tried any other ones so I can't say but yeah I totally recommend this deodorant. The second item I'm going to be talking about is calendula. I bought this for about $6.99 at Whole Foods. Um, I don't know if it's because the LA LA weather has been really windy and dry. My lips have been very chapped and every time that happens to me, I just apply a little bit of this onto my lips. So in a couple of days, it's good as new again. So um, anywhere like on my face or on my body where I feel really dry and scaly, I could put this on. It's also good for cuts, scrapes, and minor burns. So if you haven't tried this and you're having a problem with chapped or dry lips. I know more in the winter time people will probably have that problem but um, yeah give this a try. It was recommended to me by a friend because nothing was working and it worked. So so next thing I'm going to be talking about is my Real Techniques Dipple Brush. I've had a lot of cream products, blushes and highlighters and such and um, it actually made a world of difference when I got the right brush for it. I used to just use my fingers and I used a different brush before, I don't remember which one, but it wasn't working that well. Like I got this bronzer by Sonia Keshek and um, I thought it was really muddy and I didn't like it until I found the right brush. So how I like to use it is I stipple it on to the bronzer or blush, whatever you're using, and then I stipple it onto my skin, and then I blend. So that's how I like to use the brush, and it works really well. Um, I can't believe I was living without it, to be honest. Can't use cream products without a good tool, I think. So, I let, I'm just a rookie, that's why. I'm bad at applying with my fingers. So, the my next April favorite is this Bare Minerals palette. Sorry for the kind of the dirty, you know, fingerprints, but you really can't help it with this mirrored kind of product. Um, I know this, they don't sell anymore because I got it last year. It was a limited edition item, but I just feel like in general, Berry Minerals eyeshadows, they don't get enough love from people. It works so well and, you know, I know a lot of you are probably going to hate me if I say this, but I think it's so much better than the Urban Decay eyeshadows. <laughs> um, this is the Star Treatment Palette. I wasn't using it for a while and then I came back to it. Um, I just been loving like shimmery eyeshadow looks um, for spring so I like to apply it all over the lid so um, let me swatch a couple for you so here's the colors and I just swiped it onto my hands like like this Look how pigmented they are, and they're so creamy. I never see any fallout. Um, yeah, if you can get your hands on um, an 8 pen palette, um, it's totally worth it because 
if you get, I mean, they retail for $40 and it is so much cheaper than getting an 8 palette than getting a 4 or a 2 pan. Um, so I just wanted to put that up there. So my next beauty favorite is lip gloss. Um, I actually never used to really wear lip gloss. I used to wear tinted moisturizer or lipstick, but I just never thought that I would really like lip gloss and every time I tried it, I wasn't too fond of it. I just hated that my hair, it, when it's windy, like in the car or something, my hair would just stick to it. But um, I kind of tried it again and I really like it. So I've been really into this Revlon lip gloss. It's called Kiss Me Coral. It's this coral gloss with like a little bit of gold shimmer. So here's a swatch. Whoa. Man, I never knew my hand had so many spots. <clears throat> and I also been liking this Maybelline Elixir. This is an carnation, captivating carnation. So here it is. And let me swatch it right next to it. This one is um, no shimmer. So there they are. It's just been really nice to wear lip gloss just on the go or when your lip color's fading off, just put it on. Easy way. And these lip glosses last pretty long on my lips and it's not too sticky and so I've been enjoying it. I am becoming a lip gloss lover. So a next favorite of mine is this limited edition Bite Lipstick Duo. I actually did a review on this, um, which it's my first video. So um, if you want to check that out for swatches, but it's the neutral one and it has uh, lychee and musk and um, I've just been putting this in my purse. It's so small and compact and you get two colors. So i just been putting it on my lips when I want a nude lip and musk is a slightly darker nude so it's perfect for nude lips. So uh, I think it's a good combination. So. This was is my next lip favorite. So my next favorite is this. Um, ooh, I got some makeup on here. Denman brush. It's been so nice to brush my hair with this. I just feel like my scalp is getting a good massage. Just feels good. My hair looks good after I brush with this. Um, I actually was researching on what brush to get and a lot of people said this was a dupe for the Manson Pearson brush which is like $150 and there was no way I was going to spend that much on a brush. So I bought this on Amazon for about $10, $10 or so and um, I absolutely love it and you know sometimes my boyfriend uses my brush to kind of comb his hair back and it looks good. So. I love this brush for my April favorites. Uh, my last favorite of the month, and it's just the more I use it, the more I'm in love with it, it's coconut oil. Um, I get mine from Trader Joe's, I feel like it's the best deal. It's organic virgin coconut oil, and I think I bought this for around $5.99. Um, I use this actually, I don't know if you guys ever heard of oil pulling, but it's supposed to, you know, I don't know all the historical facts about it, but back in the day people used to use, um, so when you wake up in the morning, you put a teaspoon into your mouth and then you kind of swish it around for about 20 minutes and then you kind of spit it out. Um, people recommend you don't spit it out into the sink because your pipes could harden because coconut oil hardens at room temperature um, but you swish it around your mouth and then you brush your teeth afterwards um, and 
back in the day people used it actually for asthma and different type of respiratory um, illnesses and it's actually supposed to help remove all the bacteria from your mouth while in your teeth um, and all that good stuff so I've been waking up in the morning and rinsing my mouth with coconut oil for 20 minutes or so and um, in the beginning it was really hard for me to leave it in my mouth for 20 minutes so I would start with 10 and I would kind of try to build it up um, it's best if you are actually doing something while you're doing this um, but I've noticed that my teeth get is wider than it was I don't actually use like a whitening product I use a maybe my toothpaste has whitener in it but um, yeah, so I rinsed this in my mouth and at the end of the day, I feel like my teeth still feel fresh and you know, I haven't really noticed any dr drastic health benefits, but I don't think I've been doing it consistently long enough to maybe know or realize what the health benefits might be for me, but um, I just feel like it helps my oral hygiene and I really like it for that and I also use it to remove my makeup at night so I, I put it I like you know scoop this into a smaller container and then I, I get my cotton pad and kind of rub it in there and it removes all my makeup um, without any problems and um, then I wash my face afterwards so yeah I there's so many different uses for coconut oil I'm sure you've heard of um, it's good for hair, it's good for skin. So I my next April favorite was coconut or my last April favorite is this coconut oil and it smells good. Sometimes I just eat it off the spoon. <laughs> okay, or maybe I shouldn't say that. So uh, that's it for my April favorites. Thank you for watching my video. So have a good day. Bye. <laughs> My boyfriend Eric's laughing in the background right now. <laughs> I don't mind you sweating, but I'm holding it over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you sweat? <laughs> <laughs> he says he rather I sweat than smell. But that's why I have to order it, right? <laughs> why is everything going on sale, though? Yeah, Mother's Day sale. It's crazy this weekend. And then a couple days, it's back to good moisture. <laughs> In a couple days, it's back to... back... Uh,